Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fantastic tutorial for you on how to check the intended targets of a given court PC, R Primer Pair Sequence, using NCBI's Primer Blast. If you're a student, researcher, or healthcare professional looking for high-quality primer pairs, you're in the right place. In just two minutes, we'll show you how to use this incredible resource. Let's dive in. The first thing you need to do is to check a paper from that has the primer sequence for the target you want to quantify. In this example, we will check the PSA primer sequence, also known as Clock 3. We will then copy the sequence and open a new tab and search for Primer Blast. There M pass the sequences in the correspondent forward and reverse fields. Once you do that, scroll down and hit the Get Primers button while check the show results in a new window box. This process may take some time, but usually no more than one or two minutes. When the results show up, you can see the characteristics of your primer pair, as well as the intended targets. We can see that this primer sequence targets the transcript variant 1 and 3. However, we need to check if there are more transcript variants for this gene. Additionally, you may want a primer sequence that only covers one transcript variant, like SFLEL1 and not all VEGFA transcript variants. To address this issue, we need to search our gene in the ECBI nucleotide database. And, as you can see, there is an additional transcript variant. If this is the most abundant variant in the specific organ that you are studying, it may lead to misleading results in your Corti PCR analysis. And there you have it. In just two minutes, you've learned how to hack the intended targets of a given Curt P CR Primer pair sequence using NCBI's Primer Blast. Whether you're searching for primer sequences for your work or trying to design your own ones, this is a valuable resource to make it happen. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.